Howdy folks, this is Checkers back again with another episode of our Fallout 4 Let's Play, this time with episode 140, I do believe, and we are here inside Vault 88, where we have been trying to clean things up a bit. We are redoing the I DLC. My way to the entrance. With that control board, I could have changed everything, but there was simply too much rubble for the equipment to handle. And but we my are. work kept me going. Here, among these papers, is my life's work. I'd like to share it with you. Dr. Braun tasked me with something vital. A series of prototypes and their related... Well, experiments that could redefine society. But, as you can see, things did not go according to plan. I don't know what she's talking about. Okay. I actually didn't even realize we had started talking. I mean, I did after she kept going, but anyway. Let's see. What experiments? What are these experiments? Ingenious devices that will improve the efficiency and health of a community. They are admittedly prototypes and may have a design flaw or two. But nothing that can't be fixed with some elbow grease. Who's Dr. Brown? You mentioned Dr. Brown? Who is he? Dr. Brown is the head of the Societal Preservation Plan. A brilliant scientist and administrator. And, no doubt, dead. A tremendous loss. <laughs> vault Tech or Bastards? Vault Tech? Destroyed my life. <laughs> vault Tech can burn for all I care. Oh, I. Listen, I understand that a former Vault resident could harbor certain feelings. I'll tell you what. These experiments, I will let you run them. If you find anything unconscionable, just don't do it. Or change the parameters of the experiment. I assure you these devices can make people's lives better. Just give me a chance. keep the experiments ethical so these experiments can be run ethically if you insist on hobbling the prototypes potential yes you could abide by as many ethical standards as you'd like I suggest being more open-minded but the choice will ultimately be yours all right sure for now got a deal overseer good let's move forward we cannot begin until I have my overseer's desk to run the experiments. The information in the desk's terminal will prove vital. I entrust you with the future of our vault. Vault 88. Um, build the overseer's desk. Okay, sure, why not? We'll just get right on that. Um, we'll just put some floor here and uh, scrap a few things, make ourselves some room, store some other things. First aid. Let's see what's in it. 4308 rounds, stim pack, two times medics. Okay, and that is so not what I meant. We can't just. Nope, can't move it. Fine, be that way. We can store the cart though, we'll store that. And. Guess we'll scrap this. And that. Some things it seems we can store easily enough, some things we can't. 
candles seem to like being where they are. Produces happiness? Really? How unique. All right, we'll set it right on the cross there. Finally, my overseer's desk and the father of Volt Tech Terminal. Oh. I can hardly believe it. My overseer's desk after all this time. Come on, do a thing. Give me a chance to consult the desk terminal. This isn't bothering you, is it? It might be. This. Please, I beg your indulgence. I've waited so long, but we must not... Hi. This. Please, I beg your indulgence. I've waited so long, okay. but we must not dally. The work compels us. The vault was supposed to have a very specific set of residents. After all, to conduct human trials, you need the perfect test subjects. Perfect subjects? So what makes perfect test subjects? Healthy. Well, healthy enough. And people we can get an accurate baseline on quickly. And they need a willingness to take on a certain element of risk. Won't hurt anybody. I'm not going to toy with people's lives. Think of the greater good here. But fine. You're running the experiments. If you choose a risk-free path, it will compromise the value of the research. But that's on your head. Choose wisely. Now, turn on the vault's radio beacon. Certainly people above ground would give anything to live in our vault. While we wait for word to spread, perhaps you might use this time to explore Vault 88. If you can clear some of the rubble, you may be able to access some of the other building sectors. Any materials or equipment that survived may prove useful in our experiments. Okay, so we need to turn something on. And it's been long enough of a while that I don't remember where anything is, so... Well, I say anything. I say mo I mean most things, but... Stimpak, Rataway, Purified Water, sure, why not? We've got something... Everything's over there, so we'll punch out. Oh, that's right, the beacon is in here with the generator, I remember. Thonk. Okay, so we can go clear more stuff, critters and things. She came really close to not surviving that conversation. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we need to do that, don't we? And I should probably go into sneaky sneaky mode. I remember there are some things around. Oh. 
I don't remember where they all are. I'm gonna run out of ten if we do that, though. Whoa, now. Wounding 50 caliber sniper rifle. Target bleeds for 25 points of additional damage. Bottle cap, two 308 rounds, and you can keep your meat there, mole rat. Not really my flavor. 15, five, five, six rounds, gold plated flip lighter, duct tape, and a scalpel. Sure, why not? And. As I recall, we have different workbenches we need to activate. Where exactly they are, I'm a little fuzzy on, but you know, we'll get there. Someday, bottle cap, dog tags, good for steel, and tool chest over there, tool box, tool something, tool case, duct tape, sure, we'll grab that, radiation, coming through the floor, okay, And we're in sneaky, sneaky, I'm a Tyrannosaurus mode. Don't mind me. Duct tape, sure. 344 rounds, Radex pre-war money, and a silver plate. To serve up that good, good mole rat meat. Okay. Hello. Five shotgun shells. Three bottle caps. Six thirty eight rounds of military grade duck deep. Nothing in the trash can. And nothing up their sleeves. Well, mainly because they don't have them, but... Oh, don't bother getting up. You just have to get right back down. Oh. Now, pre-war money. I know you're all excited to see me, but... Okay, two bottle caps, dog tags, where'd you go? Two bottle caps, eight 10 millimeter rounds, and duck deep. Five bottle caps, duck deep. Hey, look, a chest. Vault Tech Control Board North Sector. Uh oh. those legs out from under. There we go. Poisoner's a metal right arm. Plus 25% poison resistance. Nine flamer fuel nuclear material. And a bouncy, bouncy leg. Just here. Why don't you sit in there with the radioactive thing? Nope, you still want to bounce. Okay, seven bottle caps, economy, wonder glue. And finally came to rest. Vault, trunk, duct tape. All right. What about you there? Hairbrush, good for plastic. Well, I guess. He didn't want anybody in his train car to buy stim packs. See, you know, this is a good kind of flashlight. Flashlight should not die after a few seconds of use. I don't really care, you know. I mean, maybe like hand crank World War II flashlights, but okay, no. So we're not clearing that debris at the moment. Okay.
completed Explore Vault 88. Oh, so we've done that already, have we? Right away in a coffee cup. Somehow I think there might be just a little bit more to Vault 88. Another vault trunk. And I think I recall, yep, there is a workstation. A workbench. Hey, look at us go. But we are not here to work at the moment. We are here to progress. Although we may need to clear some debris to do that. What's in here? Gold watch? Eh, should not really pick up too much stuff. Don't want to get bogged down. Okay. Red X, though, we'll take that. Let's pop back into workshop mode and see if there's something we need to clear to move on. As I honestly can't remember. It's probably been about a year. Or thereabouts. Mega loader. So it'd be fun to make one of those go again. Well, at least we know where to leave. And sneaky, sneaky, stompy, stompy Tyrannosaurus Rex. Pay no attention to the dinosaur behind the power armor. That's it. I'm just trying to convince everyone I'm a Deathclaw. All right, 10 plasma cartridges, 9 50 caliber rounds, 23 38 rounds, gold-plated flip lighter, 19 pre-war money, silver pocket watch, wonder glue. Don't pick everything up, he said, picking everything up. Well, old habits die hard. Old dog, old tricks, you know, that sort of thing. All right, we've got a ramp up and something up here. Leaving the stuff, leaving the stuff. We'll just explore this hole. Now, I've asked you guys not to do that. Assassin's right leather leather right leg reduces damage from humans by 15 percent plasma cartridges by six and someone still very very excited to be running around 638 rounds flip lighter i hear you walking bottle cap i'll see if i can come up and service you but 12 fusion cell stim pack rad x and what about the lunchbox, Mongol dog meat? I can live without that, I think. Whoa. A lot of juicy clumping going around here. Uh, I seem to remember not being able to go past that until we activated a thing. Oil canister, those are always so tempting to me. All right. We came in through there. Let's wander out through here. Poor soul who didn't make it. Hanging out with his blowtorch. We have a vault tech control board Excellent. to the northeast sector. Gold watch, we'll take that duct tape. Industrial oil canister. Okay, I can't resist it. It's too much. It's too much for me, I tell you. All right, through the hole in the wall we go into more radiation and more mole rats. Okay. Bottle cap right away. You can keep your scalpel. And I'm going to need to go shopping for some more shotgun shells at some point. 
set up a conveyor belt system to build some. Oh, you seem to have lost something there, mole rat. Could have been your forehead, not entirely forehead. Okay. And... Northeast sector. Hey. Radax fragmentation mine. Because who doesn't need that when you're building a vault? Okay. That's the mole rats, boss, I tell ya. I need more fragmentation mines. Um, I know you've got a workbench. That was horrible. me shotgun shells with your mole rattiness I'd say I'd take it out of your hide but your hide's not worth much so you know there's that have a toilet what about you glowy mole rat nope nothing cool on you either all right well let's take a quick look around here Rad X plastic bowl, grab that quick. And then stomp on down. Clomp, clomp, clomp. Two by stim packs. And up we go. Or was it under the sign? I don't think I saw anything over there. I could be wrong. Maybe I did pass it by. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Sure, they pack the fragmentation mines, but nobody thinks to pack the shotgun shells. 10 millimeter. Um, where did we see that sign? It wasn't back here, but I should look just because. Mm, no. There. There's the sign, but I don't remember seeing a workbench. here. Did I pass it by? I don't seem to recall seeing a place... Oh. Making him tired. Wait, wait, wait. Yum, yum, deviled eggs and mole rat meat. I seem to remember going through this the first time, too. Whoa, almost overshot. 
because I don't think we can progress this way until we clear this debris. We can't clear the debris until we have access, and we don't. We have the control board for this sector, but we need the workbench. Which I suppose could be back past that sector with the ghouls, that, um, that little bricked-in zone. Some vague set of neurons seems to be trying to tell me something. What exactly, I don't know. Well, that's right, there's the stompy ghouls. But, 25% left on our power core. We can't go that way because the wood is blocking the way. Nothing down here. So we'd have to come back out this way no matter what. It wasn't up here, right? No. Northeast sector, another sign here. There we go. Huzzah! Okay. Now we can clear some fragmentation grenades by two Radex because. It's no fun to just, that is not what we meant. We'll clear this away though. It's no fun to just have fragmentation mines when you can also increase the fun with fragmentation. Oh, you sneaky, sneaky things. those legs to walk around there, Rad Scorpion. You and your green friend. Auto stim metal right leg automatically uses a stim pack when hit while health is 25% or less. Once every 60 seconds, bottle caps by two, Rad Scorpion meat by two, and I am overloaded. Of course I am. Brand new blowtorch and I'm overloaded. Oh well. Um, let's go down to aid and then we'll have some poached angler in case I fall inside the vault um, and you know what else we'll have is a death cost stake and then we'll see how that does us oh not too shabbily actually then oh no 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 we want to go here and give ourselves a little bit of rat away and throw in some rat axe in case that green scorpion rears its head once more, which I do not doubt it will do unless I actually snapped it and didn't notice it. Oh, hi. By all means, please step right up. Do we feel all red scorpioned? Still think there's a green one running around, but I could be wrong. Well, we won't go hungry for red scorpion meat. We could clear that out, but you know what? We'll save that for next time. I think we'll fall back to. here 
838 rounds. Duct tape, we'll take the silver table knife and the duct tape, sure. Oh, so much stuff, and I'm already overloaded. Need to remember that. Hey, you know what I could do? While I'm thinking about it, need to get a caravaneer running around up here too. Oh no, I guess I can't, huh? Stealth boy, so much good stuff. Okay, anyway. Huh, well, I guess we'll just wait for that lazy green red scorpion to show up, unless that's him right there. Must be. I mean, I don't think red scorpions have that much self-control that he's just waiting to jump scare me five minutes from now or next time. But anyway, we'll pull back to the uh, trailer here. Yeah. One entrance, uh, a safe where, you know, we can do safe things and play with a globe. Some wonder glue. Ooh, look at that. Pack of duct tape. There's a lot of good stuff in here. All right. Anyway, I would like to point out that if you look in the upper right hand corner you will see a small letter I with a white circle around it these are cards and links to other videos that I've made also I have a Twitter link in the description of the video and on my channel's main page if you're on mobile it'll be on my channel's about page I would like to thank you guys for being the best community out there truly you guys are awesome and you make this an absolute joy to do even when the green scorpions are sneaky and I would like to thank you for watching. I hope you found the video entertaining and maybe just a little informative. I would like to invite you to subscribe, like, and share if you so desire, and to ask you, above all, to please take care.